I am hiring on a regular basis DevOps, IT ops, engineers, QA. I mean, I'm engineering manager. So I actually go through hundreds of resumes and 99% of resumes that they see, they're terrible. They're usually done like fast handed, like somebody had five minutes, brush up something. And this is a total failure. And uh, number one is he talks about application, right? Um, it's that um, a lot of people, when they try to apply, they just throw a resume out there and then hope people are gonna find them. And what he suggests, and I suggest to everyone, make sure to apply directly. If you go on the Glassdoor website, right, you will see hundreds of jobs postings, current job posting. And you can go to the site of the company, right? If it's Google, it's gonna be Google site for the employment. It doesn't matter. If it's Fitbit, it's Fitbit site. You can go there and every website of a reputable company or even a small startup have the employment link. You go there and you can find jobs that are currently available. My recommendation, do not go to recruiters, apply directly, go through internal recruiters, go through internal process. It's much, 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 uh, I would say, uh, less bureaucratic, it's going to be much faster to get a real, uh, at least the screening, right? Uh, very, very important. So you wanna apply online um, and you have to repeat it until success. A lot of people send the resume and apply for the job and they wait and there's nothing and they just give, give up. And what he says, and I agree with uh, him, you want to apply again. I mean, you want to make sure that people hear from you because usually re internal recruiters are extremely busy. They scan hundreds of resumes and they just by accident can miss you, right? So don't, uh, don't be uh, hesitant to apply once again. Very important. Uh, it has a lot of great information. If you read through this post, like learning how to write a killer resume, by example, he talks about the important, he makes emphasis on different parts of resume and he puts them in different section, right? Which phone to use, right? Where to put what? But the most important thing, obviously, the juice of the resume is what you have done in the past in your previous employment, right? In your previous jobs. And a lot of people, when I said the 99% uh, of resumes that I get are very poor, is because usually this part that you see on the screen right now, right, uh, where I actually I do mouse over, this part is very vague, very general. People are writing like, uh, for instance, if the person worked um, as, the, as the quality engineer, as a tester, they write like, okay, I've been writing test cases, running regression, uh, using the uh, Selenium web driver for automation, use XUA test for automating IES test. This is nothing. This information tells me nothing about you, right? And he derived the formula, which I agree 150% with. In his employment, firmware engineer intern, he said, improve device better lifespan by 8% by integrating a fuel gauge sensor and establishing a battery saving state. If you read this statement, it actually uh, follows the formula that he actually breaks down right here. It is accomplishment, right? As measured by Y by doing Z, right? So basically the objective of this formula that you want to uh, make sure that improved devices better lifespan is an accomplishment you have to actually state what you've delivered, a value to the company, measured result by 8%, by doing what exactly action you've done to achieve that result, measurable result, integrating a fuel, I'm gonna highlight right here, uh, uh, gauge sensor and establishing a battery saving line. That's the resume I want to see. There are hundreds, there's thousands of people who can do you know, whatever you know how to do but only you delivered a value to the company which could be interested for me as a manager because maybe I have the same objectives. Maybe I need to improve my better life, right? For my hardware that I try to deliver, okay? Very important information. He even shares the words, right? He gives a bank, like a word bank of excellent verbs you can, uh, you can and should use, right? Uh, as a synonyms for starting your statements, like improve, uh, 
piloted, optimized, reduced, and he even gives you a phrase formula for different statements. This is so amazing article. Let me, let me give you an example. Like for instance, people said that um, I, uh, I worked as an Android automation engineer and I use the Apium, right? Or Espresso, or it doesn't matter, right? Uh, what they usually put in resume, I use Apium framework to, uh, automate, it, to automate uh, regression testing for Android. It says nothing. It, for me, it basically says that, okay, fine, you, you've done something, but what that means, right? What kind of accomplishment, what kind of achievements have, have you done? But if you say something like, Architect Android functional test automation framework with Espresso library while using scalable architecture, screen object or robot pattern. Such an architecture enabled the entire Android team to write scalable tests with minimum main table effort. So when you are actually phrasing your statements in something that actually can bring on the table or improve testability by stabbing backend responses with OKHTP mock web server, isolated tests from the backend, uh, full control of backend responses, ability easier to, easier to trigger the test. Or you can say that you improve the test stability by, you know, 50% or 30% and in, increase the speed by 20% if you want a measurable result. 